Loving your gums with Vinny and Hesse. Yeah! All right, here we are. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are now into uh, episode seven. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, the last episode. I'm Hesse. This is Vinny. Uh, we are just—I I mean, we're—I'm di- digging it. I'm digging uh, putting these out there. <laughs> we're getting some feedback on some stuff now. Uh, I got—I got some buddies and, and stuff, and just there. I got a couple wives that. Uh, fiancés, whatever, girlfriends. I mean, it's a mix of them, but uh, uh, we're getting to get some feedback on that kind of stuff. Uh, so, I, I mean, it seems like people enjoy it. It's it's a you know fun fun time for us. So, hopefully, you guys are digging it and just keep telling you know everybody you know. Like, let's let's just get the get the movement going, right? What do you how, how what do you think, Benny? How you been liking it? Oh, I've gotten lots of comments just from people that I know. Uh, I haven't gotten any comments on, uh, like, my Facebook. or I've been trying to put it out there when we release it on uh, Instagram and and TikTok. I got, you know, some people are like, oh, good, I'm glad to hear it. But I don't get the comments like you get the comments. Uh, I look on the YouTube uh, comments, but we could definitely use more comments. It's it's always fun to see them and then reiterate and and hit those when we come back on the next episode it's it's a ton of fun yeah I enjoy sure, the comments sure. on there well comments and just yeah. get on there everybody just tell uh, everybody. we do know that the your email's working now so flapping your gums up. at yahoo.com yeah <laughs> that is up yeah uh let's blow it up yeah we we uh that's working um yeah i mean we get some comments i'll, I'll get some on uh book face when i put it on there the one was uh, the guy knows me. He's in the service, so he's like over in somewhere else. But he's all he says. Well, I don't watch it on YouTube. I know what you look like, Hesse. He says, but I picture Vinny looking like Vinny off of Jersey Shore. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's what, more like my cousin Vinny <laughs> from you know with Joe Pesci, my yeah, cousin Vinny. With, with just yeah. less hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, less hair, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, little weaselly looking guy. Yeah, so That's what perfect. I am. Had some good feedback with the van, uh, so that was cool. They they liked being able to see it. Some of them were like, "Oh yeah, that's not what I pictured," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Better or worse? Well, they had so like um, like a newer one of the one of the comments was like a newer uh, like the Chevy, you know, like a like like an actual Chevy. I don't know what they would call it. Not passenger one, but like the Econo line type thing. You know, the with like the, well, the Econo line's Ford. With, well, and it's not a. I don't know what Chevy calls it. I'm not a Chevy guy, but it has like the the running boards, you know, and it's the two swing. I mean, they used doors. to have an Astro van. No, the Chevy Astro van. Know. That's he older. He was thinking though. more like a commercial grade, but definitely newer. He thought Probably some be, of the stuff you know, like they're God. running around now, like the FedEx drivers, like those freight liners or, yeah, or whatever. What like he just didn't they didn't picture it like it was, so they were digging it, dude. <laughs> like they were just like, Yeah, that's I'd like rad, to get older. Bro. I'd like to do like fifties, you know, like the old milk trucks, bread trucks, you know, kind of that bubble top looking thing. I I would definitely like to do something yeah, older. Yeah, but dude, that's just I mean, look how much upkeep it is to keep your old seventy eight rolling down the road, dude. I get it. I mean, but she's been road hard, put away one? wet for sure since we've been <laughs> kids. Uh, that rolls us into it. So, v- <laughs> Vinny, oh, dude. so Vinny and I got I was to talk. Dying dude, this it starts week. banging. It starts bringing up some <laughs> some memories for sure. Like as we look back, I mean, I th- I feel like some of the stuff like you just tend to forget, or you know, I mean, as you get older, maybe there's just so much stuff. Uh, in your, well, you're just packing new memories your mind, on, so you're on just all the old the memories. Back, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not that it's exactly. gone; it just gets gets pushed back. I mean, there's probably some memories that you choose to to you know natural natural occurrence to get rid of those memories, you know, and stuff. But so uh, we got to talking. I mean, we used to haul this van. That was our rig, you know. That was our that was our vehicle, you know. That was our when, family. Yeah. So it was a minivan before the minivan. That was the whip. Hundred you know, percent. It was yeah. That was it. Definitely not a mini. It was full size. Pack them in. Let's roll. You know, roll up in the old canvas seats and just sweat your bag off and 
just on sandpaper because it gets so hot. You know, you take <laughs> shirt off, and it, it's a rough go. But remember, we used to go to uh, whiskey. I don't know the border, whiskey Pete's, whatever Buffalo, Buffalo. Yeah, Bills on the way to Ca- on the way to California, so, we'd so stop there. Backstory is we lived in Utah, whiskey Pete's, and we would travel because we'd go visit family in uh, California. California, and so that was okay. a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the road trips. We the got remembering this week. It was it was it was a hoot, dude. We were driving. You drive all the way all day, and that was our stop. You know, overnight was there at Whiskey Pete's at the border of Nevada, California, and uh, yeah, dude. I mean, I was telling you, I'm like, dude, you remember when Mom would be like, "All right, you guys stay in the van because there's three brothers, you know, so there's five of us total. They'd get a room." And they'd be like, "Hey, you guys wait in the van." Yeah, you could do that. They didn't you want. could do that back then because you wouldn't get sex trafficked out of the back <laughs> right. of a out of a van. <laughs> Let alone when you saw the van, you figured it was a sex trafficking van, anyways. <laughs> so they were kind of just like, "Yeah, it got right of passage." Yeah, and they would tell us, "Just wait in the van. We're gonna go check in because you know they were only checking in for two people." And I thought about that when we were talking about it this week. I'm like, we. It, each room has two beds, you know, like up to four people. Like, I don't understand. I don't know if back, like, did they charge more if you had an extra person? Yeah. You know, or I if you asking, had more than two people? Yeah, I was asking Tosh that, too, and she was like, I don't really know. I don't remember. I'm like, well, do they do it now? I mean, how terrible is well, that? They don't do I it. couldn't tell you now. Like, I'm like, she goes, it'll ask how many people. I go, well, do you get charged for it? And she, uh, and she was like, oh, I don't know. So that's what, yeah, mom and dad, you guys stay in the van. We're going to go check in, and we'll sneak you in the side door. <laughs> side door, you know, dude. It was, it was like, <laughs> oh, man. It was, it was bad. Yeah. It was seriously the side door. It's like, all right, they, they figured out the map. They looked at, you know, the little map that they give you yeah, at the, the check in, the and they're like, okay, we're going to park over here now, this is back when so we can keys, go in the side dude, door. Like, a lot of kids probably don't know Metal that. keys. Metal keys. Like, yeah. Yeah. The, you know, they don't even know on cars now. But, yeah, they're like these keys that you would take, and it's, Got little teeth on it, and it goes into the lock <laughs> in case anybody. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. Yeah. We are not that old. No, wait, they don't but use keys now. I guess we are now. that old. I yeah, know. I, mean, I know. It's all cards. It's all cards and stuff. I mean, by the time our kids do a podcast or they talk about it, they're going to be like, yeah, I just held my wrist up there because it was a chip. Yeah, phone. You know? yeah, your phone. Look at that. Kia has that. <laughs> that Their phone now It shows that lady on the moon, and she forg- she's like gets back from like a NASA and she, I haven't seen oh, that. Oh, dude, she flies back in on the ship, you know, like re-entry, the pod or whatever. Mm. And then she goes heading out there, and she's got her flight suit on, like, oh, yeah, I just was on the moon. And she comes back, and she, she's, like, searching all of her pockets, and she don't have uh, her keys. And so she's like, oh, man. And then they show a picture of it, and they're like, it's laying there on the moon in the dust. Really? Yeah, and she, she pulls her phone out and holds it up to the car, and it unlocks. So it's got the phone. Dude, phone everything's going to get hacked one day. Dude. You're just going to be hacked. Just I mean, if, if they can take your over. checking account, they're just going to take your keys for your car now. Yeah, cars just automatically <laughs> driving all over, dude. <laughs> take like, it away. I think there's a movie like that somewhere, but I can't think of it right now. It's like a Fast and the know, Furious one or something. Like one of the nine or tens. Weird. Fast and the Furious. When she's okay. like in the airplane and she overtakes all the electric cars, like the smart cars. Uh, I haven't really seen any of no, the last Braxton few. would know, dude. Braxton, his top five are basically all the Fast and the Furious. Loves them all. But he, I mean, yeah. why wouldn't so, you? So, yeah, so I mean, here we are yeah. driving this van. We're getting smuggled into hotel rooms uh, <laughs> as kids, like not really knowing what it's about until we get this old. The mom's going to love on these stories. Oh, But, man. I mean, that kind of leads into, I mean, we took this thing. The, I mean, we've do, we've gone the full trip, but that wasn't even just halfway where it was like we got dumped off and picked up and, you know, hauled right. the rest of the way. Like Grandpa didn't right. come pick us up, so we used to we'd go and remember we'd do halfway mark, and then yeah, we used to do halfway we'd do Vegas swap and we would jump in the old yeah. station wagon. Grandpa had that station wagon. That was cool. Oh, dude, it was a Chevy. Yeah. It was a Chevy station White wagon. One. Yeah, and every time we went over Baker Grade, they were like, turn off the air conditioner, oh, yeah, roll the windows overheat. down. I'm this like, thing's, what? This thing's made for picking up chicks. So, oh, yeah, roll down the window. They don't even have those signs up anymore. They used to have signs up on the freeway that they would tell you to turn off your air conditioner, 
because you know they were afraid of people overheating. They don't even do that anymore. That's because cars have gotten s- yeah so much better. You don't drive <laughs> a car that's going to overheat that way, anyways. Or a van, you put a AC, you put a RV, RV radiator in it. RV radiator in that that's thing made for uh, packing meat. That's how you but get dude, over we, that one. So yeah, we, were so talking we take about the van and we go to SeaWorld. We got a SeaWorld trip, guys. That I'm pretty sure this one. Uh, I th- we were past the mom's van. Mom's gonna hit the van was already one. done. No, the van we took to SeaWorld. Oh, you did take the van. I was in. You were my you were running. Dodge you were Neon. driving with us. We were, yeah, we were caravanning, yeah. bro. I was married and had a couple kids by then. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you were moving right yeah. along. You were getting life going. We went to. Uncle Landon's house and Grandpa's house there in Corona. Corona. And, uh, our our uncle, just to let you know, was mm, uh, five. Was he five? Maybe five hundred plus pounds. Oof. Probably at his probably in his bigger state. I dude, he, yeah, he was a big guy though too. So it's hard to tell you on weight when he's six. He was he was two, tall. Six three. Was six. Yeah. But I couldn't get my arms around. He was him. definitely, and he was, he was all a. Uh, he had 20 pounds of hair on his back. He did. Let alone he that. Did. Yeah, 400 plus easily. Five pushing 500. So we hand. we all roll up in there. I'm married. You guys are still in. You and Kevin are still in school. And he when he cooks, he cooks like yeah. it was barbecue, hamburgers, chicken, brats. Uh, I don't. It was it was a it was a smorgasbord there going. And then yeah, we all. They had like a little three bedroom house. We stayed in that. Their backyard. Do you remember how wide their how deep their backyard was? I think you make two passes on the lawnmower and it was done. Yeah, it wasn't very like big. Like it was a tiny sure. little backyard. And uh yeah, so we go rolling into SeaWorld the next day and we're doing the whole SeaWorld thing and trying to get all that going and and then it's like, All right, we're gonna have lunch and they had a Ford Econo line. It was newer than mine. It was one of those box fans that didn't have any windows except for in the back. Do you remember that? It was blue. I Grandpa so. painted that so they could tow the tow their little boat around. Oh, the yeah, boat. the fishing boat, the white, because it matched the white and blue <laughs> fishing boat. boat. I remember getting so sick in that thing. <laughs> so I just lay down in the boat. middle of it, put a blanket over your head, and eat some saltine crackers. I'm like, does that work? <laughs> it did, apparently, because I don't get sick anymore. But I remember laying they in pull that out thing the in the ocean, dude, and they're just like, uh, and then everybody's like, "What? That's not what you do. You like try to look at the horizon or something, or oh, dude." But I feel I like that's know. what I makes d- you sick. Maybe I don't know if you ever. Maybe people got different. We need stories, to ask. But we need to ask brother Kevin what makes you sick because he, he gets, gets sick, sick as took soon as you move. Fishing and dusted, and he was, he was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna go." And then the kids were like, "Oh, we're gonna go." And then uh, he's like, "I'll go." And he he took like mom's Dramamine or something, or put the patch on or whatever the night before, or maybe the morning before. I don't know. He was doubling up enough. on him, and he just sat in the middle of that. But I felt miserable for him. I was like, dude. Damn. Damn. We went to sucked. Disneyland on New Year's Eve, and he was popping those Jeremy. It was, he was popping those things like M and M's. Just like, wash him do down with monsters. <laughs> 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 hey, we don't talk about monsters. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Got to keep that on the DL. Sorry, Kev. That's why right, uh, Stacy yeah. don't listen, right? Uh, hopefully. Sure. <laughs> hopefully not. It's fine. Anyways, she we're knows back. it. SeaWorld. We're getting sidetracked here. SeaWorld. SeaWorld. Sorry. So we go to SeaWorld and we got. It's a it's a it's a family event. So you got a picture of this. Oh, so if you guys like twelve just, of us. Yeah, and dude, and it's it's uh it's married and non married, like exes and news. Exes. Dad so, was there. Yeah. yeah, we got stepdads, dad, um, mom, z. Did, I don't. Yeah, grandpa moms didn't go. And moms. Grandpa didn't go. Right. I think I Barbara so. had to be there. Barbara was there. So that's I the think, uh, that's the stepmom. Land and Cindy were there. And yeah. they had little ones. I think one or two, maybe one at the time. I think they just had the one. Zach, I think his name was. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I would say uh, they had Zach. Yeah. So, so this is what well, it is. It's like the, this, this, the Beverly Hillbillies, and you know, here we are coming from Utah. We now been living in Utah. Rolling for in a while. two Econoline vans. Two vans, the, a neon Dodge neon. Uh, <laughs> And on the, the largest on the ride, ice chest I've ever seen. Yeah, on the ride there, <laughs> Benny, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm rolling in the back of this van, and I'm in the back seat because that thing laid down into a bed. 
So I'd draw. I'd be sl- you know sleeping and stuff. Always. Right there. And so Vinny was up rolling up behind me, and I had this can of chew in my backpack. And I pulled out. I'm holding on the back window so he could see it. You know, here we and go, mom. Spoil alert. Here we go. <laughs> and so, and uh, and so I'm I'm like thinking I'm the coolest cat, like, cause I'm showing Vinny this this chew can, and I'm like, ha, 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 ha. underage. So uh, uh, I don't know. It, what, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. I, I, I was know. only 19 when I got married. So yeah, you but were you already had it. Me. So you you would have been 20. I think by the time we went, because it wasn't, you weren't taking a newborn. Ashlyn was pretty young. Yeah, but that's your second child. Yeah, but they were only 14 months apart. Right, so that's what I'm saying. You so had I would have be, been maybe 21. Let's I just, think you were. I, don't I, even, think I you wasn't were old alcohol. enough to gamble. I was not old enough to gamble because when we stopped in Vegas, I did not gamble. Well, that was probably wasn't your choice. That was probably somebody else's. That was the... Your mean old ex, probably like you ain't spending no money unless you got well, we that. We probably change. didn't have money to spend, That's but true. I'm, I'm assuming either way, I would twenty have or twenty. I would have dropped five bucks at least. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. No, I mean if you had it in your pocket, right. when nobody knew. Yeah, yeah. If I did that it, squirrel yeah. money, as Braxton would say, <laughs> that squirrel money. <laughs> and so, uh, so I, anyway, so I'm showing this, and I do. So I pop this can of chew open, and I'm like, hurry up, put a little dip in. And mom, mom's like, what's that smell? I was like, what's that smell? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I was like, and she's like, you go, what is that? It's my, and I was like, oh, getting a piece of gum. It's, or, it's my gum. <laughs> it's a good thing they had skull mint, yeah. huh? Skull mint, son. <laughs> that's her, well, I think I chewed every kind of, every flavor that they had, but that was that's another story. So yeah, so that that went down that way, and then we go to Sea World. Wow, well, what did where we stayed somewhere? What was the plate? Ca- uh, well, after we went to Sea World and had a fun, fantastic day. Yeah, so we're back again, we're, like we but said, we went you, to lunch. We, we Don't gave forget you the lunch. list of how many people were there. Wait, yeah, lunch at Sea World or lunch before? Yeah, lunch at Sea World. All right, so the, we all roll out into the parking lot. Oh, that's right, with that giant cooler. And, Giant cooler. Uh, Uncle Landon brought everything that Uncle Landon had the, barbecued the night yeah. before. Yeah. And it was hamburgers and chicken and brats. And it was just one of those things where it was like, it, now you want to talk about. And we were tailgating in the parking lot of SeaWorld, is what we were doing. Like, it was like, all right, we're going to have lunch. And we're, so, you know, we're thinking, all right, we're going to go somewhere to eat or whatever. And it's like, oh, we start walking out of the park. Yeah, they, thought we like, were going to, they thought we were going to NASCAR or something. We were headed. Dude, of, we were at SeaWorld. It, it was huge. We pulled out that white cooler that's, you know, four feet wide, five feet two wide. Body, Two-body cooler. You had to lift it out. Two oh, people yeah. had to. Busted out all the chicken, the the hamburgers and everything. I ate them cold. Cold. Like there was, <laughs> it was just cold, cold. hamburgers. Mm. <laughs> you guys should try that cold buns cold i mean don't cold. worry about taking the buns out throw them in the window or something while we're gone no no yeah it was just all just uh, so yeah so this story gets quite interesting because then uh back back in those days kids uh kids <laughs> <laughs> I think we got pretty much adult listeners. Yeah. We're okay with Back this story. In, well, I think. I'm still sitting. No, nah, there's some, dude. I'm telling you that le- that weed was not legal. No, that no, hasn't been for 100%. very long. We didn't do that. Had not been. So I had I had a little thing called purple people eater. Sorry, mom. And uh, <laughs> I had I had I had loaded it. So it's a it's a one like a one hitter. It's a loader, so you can load it up and slide it shut. <laughs> you know, so it stays concealed. So there's no smell or anything to it. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I mean it's super illegal that they were, but I mean in the van we're driving in, there's probably a lot worse that could happen. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> dude, I just remember a good. We go rolling out, and this is a long story short, kind of, and uh, no, nope. <laughs> so, so well I can't because as we were going out, this is later on Bro, now. You, you, you guys there all day. understand this. You're there all day, you know what I mean, and so. Summertime, it's summertime, it's hot. hot and all that stuff. So and then then it cools down, right? Because whatever cools down. So I San go, Diego, yeah, I got to run out there and get the sweatshirts and stuff. And so we're headed out to this 
van and there's these two girls and they keep like looking over as we're walking out and i'm like why are these girls looking over here and they kind of like kept doing it kept doing it. i'm like why are they keep? they're just like staring over but they're kind of like slowly moving over towards like the at gate this that, hot unaged the uh, <laughs> underage <laughs> unage, <laughs> underage <laughs> <laughs> underage yeah. freaking oh. yeah i'm pretty sure they weren't much older than me if this not the same age so anyways so they they keep they keep like uh, making contact or whatever and then as they move over there and they're like hey you smoke and i was like oh. i'm thinking like cigarettes i'm all no i don't smoke cigarettes and that's what i said Guilty. Yeah. Guilty. And they're like, yeah, you were at the time, huh? <laughs> I was yeah. a smoker at the time, yeah. So I was like, no, I don't smoke cigarettes. And they're like, oh, do you you smoke other? Smoke something? I'm like, what? Like, now I'm on the now I'm on the sketch. I'm like, why are these girls coming up no, here? Like, huh? you guys po -po. wired? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you got? Lift up your shirt, you know? Oh. I'm hey, looking for a go. wire. Wink, wink, you know, whatever. So they're like, no, no, like, we, we smoke more. My brother has it, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I do that. And uh, they're like, well, we got some. And I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they're like, now we're walking. I'm like, I don't want to walk over to the van. Now, hold on. What did they have? They had some wacky tobacco. Oh, they right? had weed, yeah. And they, they were like, oh, yeah. that's good And they stuff. were going to smoke it out of a. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's like, well, we got an apple on my wall. An we're apple? For munchies oh, afterwards my or what? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm more Dude. of a, like a flaming hot Dorito guy, but or flaming hot Fritos, you know, or what are they? Cheetos, Cheetos. I'm more of a flaming hot Cheeto guy. Like Dude. I'll take some of that after. But anyways, yeah. So they're like, "Oh yeah, we got an apple. We're gonna smoke it out of an apple." I'm like, "Oh my gosh." I'm like, "Well, I had that pipe." So in my mind, I'm like, "Okay, I'll smoke these girls up, and I'm gonna reload this thing, so I can like have me a banger." Once we leave, like I'll just keep it, have it, I'll just stuff it full of right. their weed. One to know? go, I mean, like, one for the road. Dude, back then it was hard. Like everybody was scrounging money. You had to go up to different places to go buy it. I mean, it was like a pain in the butt. You didn't have a dispensary. Oh you no, know, basically no, it was a Walmart I mean, you had to have drive a plan. up, dude. Now you had to have just, a plan. Yeah, I mean it was a whole thing, dude. And you had to like meet at the Wendy's drive-through, back do, like, alleys, weird special stuff. knocks, yeah, special words, ride with all the kinds guy and get like a bacon, <laughs> ultimate bacon at the Wendy's and like <laughs> whatever. So, sorry, Wendy's. It wasn't with the people that worked at Wendy's, but it was just in. The, I get it. Yeah. Code words. Code yeah. words. So, do you just let it out? Just burp on the mic. Just, uh, just do that's it. Rude. That's rude. I'm drinking this. So. Uh, so they're like, oh, and I'm like, no, here. But I didn't want to go back to the van, dude. Partially because you uh, didn't want to show them. Yeah, the I didn't want to be like, oh, this is what I'm rolling gonna in. Think they're you're like, gonna kidnap them. Wait, you got some? What's that big old cooler in there? You got somebody stashed in there? Oh, great. They're probably just run, <laughs> thinking they were about to get sex traffic in Mexico, dude. It wasn't so, a thing then. We're good. I, I'm pretty sure it was. It just wasn't as big. Yeah, probably was. Everything's just gotten bigger with social media and the accessibility of it. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, we're gonna get, we got a lot of a lot of veins we could run off on here. So the dude, I get this pipe. I get my pipe out. and I'm like, this is what we're gonna do it on. And they're like, oh yeah. And these girls are just like whipping this bag out in the parking lot, like it's nothing. But I guess like there's probably there wasn't like cameras or anything then. And so. We go back. They got like this little forerunner, so I take my shirt off and throw it on the the mirror because I don't want to stink, right? Right. This is right. probably yeah. You don't this want, is one of the you don't want to be bringing that back in to mom and dad. Yeah, I've made some terrible decisions. I mean, she's in my already life, and this she's is already had a question about some other smell. We don't need yeah, another my, my smell question. Gum. My minty mom gum. knows that smell too old. Too yeah, old. my mom. She yeah, my mom would know that <laughs> one. She'd be like, "Oh, you little." <laughs> oh man, mom, mom's <coughs> emailing for sure. On this oh, stuff. we're in trouble now. I ain't even gonna. Hey, it was dad. Walking. It wasn't. It wasn't all on her. It was no, all it was dad. not mom's fault. Mom did great. Mom, you did great raising us. But we have yeah, we got to experience some stuff on our own, and this was almost a terrible experience. So I jump in there. <laughs> And I load this bad boy up, and and it's sticky, it's like sticky icky, you know, and it's it's stinky. Sticky icky. So I'm like, don't touch the fire to it. Let's get this thing smoldering, and like, so it keeps the smoke down because we're basically hot boxing in the forerunner, 
two chicks and yeah. me. And as soon as the chick gets it and she hits it, she torches the flame to it. It starts pooping smoke. And uh, I'm like, oh, here we go. Let's just do it. So uh, it's cool. We run it around a couple times, like load it up. And I'm like, it, it, it's not really, I don't really feel anything. I'm like, oh, man, this, this stuff, it seemed like it was going to, it was creeper weed for sure. Excuse you. Uh, it was most certainly because then soon my, and you know how I get when I'm in a vehicle, if it's driving or if it's not, my feet get stuck to the floorboard and it happened. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I was ripped. And my feet were stuck to the floorboard. I couldn't, I didn't know what to figure out. I don't know. I'm like, we got to go. Like, it's got to be, it seemed like I had been gone for probably for an hour. And it was like seven minutes. He just went out to get a sweatshirt. It was like seven minutes. I mean, the parking lot's huge anyway, so that's cool. I told him there was a line or whatever. Yeah, there was a huge line. I couldn't get it. So we come back in. This is the worst thing ever is one, uh, with smoke and weed has got to me because, dude, I basically, we, we did it. I loaded it up. We didn't hit the next one because we were all just ripped. I didn't get near any loading that thing, stuffing it full like I wanted to. Either way, ran back to the van, put it away, and I'm pretty sure I didn't walk into SeaWorld. You know those escalators, the flat ones, like in an airport, in the middle of the airport? <laughs> I felt yeah, that's yeah, pretty uh, much what happened. So I had no feet or legs <laughs> from basically the knees down, maybe the hips down. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm hovering <laughs> into SeaWorld. <laughs> and everybody is now had, has decided that we're doing the Shamu show at night because it's got cool lights and this night show and all this stuff. Right, it's going to be the last hurrah. Yeah. The last hurrah. And uh, Mom decided to go get chicken and food for the entire family. That's you, Dad, <laughs> Kevin, and myself. There's like the 15 people. Robin and my two kids. Yeah. I mean, we're like at seven people at this point. Oh, yeah, because some, yeah, some bailed out already. They didn't make well, it. Well, they didn't make it. To we the were taking. No, I don't think they did. I don't think. No, I think we were Dad and them rolled out. Got food like for my knee people. hurts and my hip hurts. Or whatever Sh- showed up with that one, you know, sand, you know, that brown paper bag of food for the seven of us. Like one and that you pack your six-year-old kid to lunch, like yeah, a lunch bag, yeah, like a l- little brown, tiny lunch bag, brown just lunch sack, right. and six potatoes. And we're trying to watch the show. She shows up late. I'm. St- Hungry now? Tense. I'm starving because I'm stoned out of my mind. <laughs> and now I got we got we got four chicken strips and three potato wedges, and I could eat that <laughs> the whole like just scarf it. But I gotta play it cool. Like, no, nah, I'm not hungry. <gasps> oh, no, no, dude. We're and Vinny looks we'll watch at show. Vinny looks up at me, and I'm just like, and these two girls are like, now they're with us. Now they're just like, oh yeah, we're gonna sit next to you, and I got these friends, and I'm like, ugh. And so I look over at Vinny, and I'm pretty sure he knows. I'm pretty sure my paranoia is setting in because everybody knows. So I'm like, play it cool. We're going to play it cool. Just sit back and enjoy the show. It's going to be rad. So uh, these girls Did are. Did you have Visine at the time? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was definitely. I definitely dropped it up. But <laughs> yeah. It's still. Yeah. I was. I don't. I probably was laughing at everything. And, dude, these girls are loud and obnoxious, and there's a lot going on. And so, of course, that brings attention. And I remember the dude, they sang the Macarena. Is that what it's called? Macarena? The ma- Macarena? Mac- Macarena? Macarena. Macarena. Is that like yeah. Mac? Mac and cheese? Yeah, that was macarena. when it was, Macarena was popular. And they it was banging, dude. And the dude, event. he was like a nighttime guy, so he had this shiny jacket on. And he's like, oh, we got to get people up here to do the Macarena. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like sitting there like, oh, man, not me, not me, not me, not me. And these girls are going nuts, and they're screaming, and they're yelling. And who do they pick? us and yeah. i just remember standing up on that top thing above the seats that we were sitting in and everybody thought it was the coolest in the family They're like yeah look at you're up there and i just remember seeing myself doing the macarena in the big screen and i almost lost it i thought i was just <laughs> dude i don't know what was ha- I, it was like the matrix <clears throat> dude I'm just like, I don't know how this, like, that's me on TV. How is this happening What's right going now? on right now? Dude, I was freaking <laughs> out, bro. I was like, I'm pretty sure that is the one and only time I almost had a panic attack. I was tripping, dude. Whew. 
Yeah, welcome to SeaWorld. Yeah, and then after that was all done, we had to find directions to get to Catalina Island, I think is where we end up staying. That was that was a fun event. Fully, and that was before you could have all the Google Maps and everything on your phone, and you're just you're looking at maps and stuff. Like Mom Paper was trying maps, to yeah. you know, help Dad get over to the island just to find our hotel, and it was. And I just wanted to go. To it was a stressful. And them stressful girls wanted event. to invite me to a beach party. So beach nice. party. Those nice, lovely ladies asked if I wanted Freaking to go Freaking Utah to boy going to a beach, to a beach party? And mom and dad were not I can't not believe mom didn't it. let you go. I don't know. I don't get it either. Oh, dude. Just experience the culture. After the stories mom's told us about all her beach parties growing up in California when she grew up there. I mean, she had tons of fun, but what was she? Yeah. Freaking uh, cock blocker. All I wanted to do. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't see that one coming. Thanks a lot, mom. <laughs> Oh, my. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All I want to do is go look for some seashells. <laughs> some, what are they oh, gosh. He's dying, people. He is dying right now. I'm just going to walk on the beach and look for some sand dollars and <laughs> some seashells with some lovely seashells, ladies. Seashells, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully, hey, fire. ladies, if you're ever listening, you remember that <laughs> SeaWorld story. If this ever gets out there and it's big enough. Holy if, shit. Let's talk about a small world. If they were to comment or message or email or something, dude, I'd poop. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. That oh, would yeah. be awesome. Oh, yeah. So that, that's kind of the some of the stories that come after we get we get uh, dude talking on how so they just tear that Even van. mom said, like, I can't believe you guys remember some of that stuff. Well, mom, you so don't remember this because you didn't know half of it. Oh yeah, half of it she had no. She Sur- don't now. Surprise! <clears throat> One time in that van, we were there at Whiskey Pete's. Like back in the day, you didn't have a lot of this uh, online stuff where you can look up things, whatever. We were driving, I want to say, to California again to go visit Dad there, and the belt went out in the van. It was in the parking lot, and they called them. I don't even know what they they were like dudes that lived out there. I mean, Whiskey Pete's is on the border. Like, there's nothing there. There's like some trailers. It's like there's not a community of houses or businesses. It's two two casinos right at the edge of the border. There's not a whole lot of stuff. But the van broke down. Like we threw a belt. Like we didn't have a belt for the van. And I remember they call, they were just guys that kind of just drove around in their own pickup. They had, like, a whole bunch of parts in there just in case of these cars breaking down. Mm-hmm. And I remember Dad having to get a belt for the van so we could make it the rest of the way because there was no auto parts. There's no there's no auto parts store or anything like that. But I remember out in the parking lot, Dad was negotiating with these dudes driving, like, a, a Ford pickup truck that has, like, a camper it's on like it. The, it's just like full of just parts, dude. It's like the Gappa. Dude. No, instead of Napa, it's like I mean, the s- ghetto. <laughs> it's a ghetto, the ghetto dude. Napa. It's a ghetto. The it ghetto is. Napa. And these guys are just like, you know, a couple of inbreds driving around, you know, trying to sell parts to yeah. vehicles that are broke down Not and just sitting in the parking lot. So, yeah, like, you leave the hood up. Like, yeah. You leave the hood up, and you wait for somebody to show up and be like, hey, do you need some help? And like, we got parts. I mean, yeah, you're not getting a good deal. Yeah. Let me tell you, you're no, paying they know. two, three times the price. But I remember sitting in that parking lot trying to get parts to make it <laughs> the rest Jeez. of the way to California. And mom's going to say, oh, I back. can't believe you remember that. I, know, I was probably sleeping in the back, Copenhagen. And now I was a teenager then. I was, This is before oh, yeah, I got no, married, but I, I remember that yet. trip. I had, no. I hadn't tasted no. the devil's lettuce or either. No. No, you haven't. <laughs> hey, you but probably have. I don't. <laughs> Uh no no uh, you had yeah you had then no no oh, that's no, another no. Time. I was that's another time I was already graduated before I started chewing oh. I was graduated before I started chewing yeah you're missing <clears> out but yeah it was that's it was one of those road you. construction it's bad things for you too and by the way disclaimer <clears> no but terrible I did write down I did put in my notes another uh, you weren't here for this uh, brother Kevin was here for this oh, okay they did fireworks out at the farm. Like, our parents live on a farm. Uh, they got, you know, 40-plus acres and stuff like that. But Dad goes out and mows down all the weeds and gets everything ready 
for like Fourth of July if we're gonna do fireworks out there. So uh, <clears throat> before my wife now Emily and I showed up to do fireworks, apparently Brother Kevin they lit off some fireworks. And a lot of times you put the fireworks in, you know, we surround it with like cinder blocks so that the fireworks don't tip over. <coughs> we do that now. We didn't do it until Brother Kevin's up there lighting off fireworks and the thing tipped over and starts shooting at the house. And, and <laughs> I mean, we talk about stories about this van and how our life was, and we're, we're pretty redneck. I, I mean, you get these stories out there. And it was shooting at the house. Uh, I, I believe Brother Kevin tried to kick the box of fireworks. You know, you go buy them at the grocery store and you get this whole big box of fireworks and stuff like that. And stuff is shooting at it. We don't want the whole box to, of uh, different things to go it's off. It's in the section in Lens right next to the sushi, in case anybody's <laughs> wondering. <laughs> It is in the section of Lens. You can, that is 100% you can go to Lens correct. and you can buy a package of Go to the grocery of store, we get our fireworks your Lens, and sushi. <laughs> and your 3.2% beer, and you go have your Ooh. time, but you just don't hey, let nobody up. know. You tell us up. You tell us up but, uh, from 32 You got to keep the beers on the, the low At the time, low, no. Though. But, yeah, Kevin was – he burnt his foot. I believe he's burned himself. What's he out there the doing? Leg. Running around flip-flops? I believe Life so. Up. That's At his time, fault. Yeah. Pyrotechnics and flip flops, they don't match. Shorts yeah. and flip flops yeah, and trying, get to, after it. trying to stop well, the house so from catching on fire. With that stuff, like when we blow up stuff, because first of all, oh, we're a man. dude. And if you want, second of all, this this I'm, that's episode? I'm going with it. We'll put it in here. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so this one, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really be able to walk you guys through it because I don't have it up. I can I can kind of picture it step by step kind of thing. So, uh, oh, just dude. we'll just do a quick one, and we're, we're gonna put this in. So, for for the listeners, we're gonna have it on YouTube, just like that we did with the van. We're gonna put a clip in here. Uh, YouTube might pull it. I have a uh, <laughs> no, no. I don't think you, well. I don't think YouTube will. Uh, I have a clip up here. I'll put it in here. It's oh, when right so now. Vinny goes and gets some, um, and I'm gonna walk us through. Ten right. Now. So it's you tannerite. had Tannerite. And for those who don't know what t- Tannerite is, that's probably for the best. Uh, <laughs> so it, so we have this. He Well, he went and got cabinets. And he's like, hey, I got these old cabinets. Uh, so we can shoot them. And so you put Tannerite in them. It blows them up. Like, that's cool. That's what you do. I mean, you did as a kid. You blew up G.I. Joe's. You blew up uh, all kinds of stuff, whatever it was. Anything, everything. Um so we set up this we're out there at the shooting range and we set up these tannerite in some uh cabinets well the first two cabinets go off like like they should be like great because they're particle board and they're like these cheap ones then he busts the third one he has out there that we put a a pound or something of tannerite in maybe two pounds i don't know i'm not going to say yeah half pound it was like one pound it was a one pound it was one pound yeah so we throw this thing in there but the it has the door open well, it's there's like a breeze or whatever, and the door closes. Close. But we know what shelf it's on. So basically, you just are going to shoot this thing right where the tannerite is at, and it blows up the the cabinets like it did the other two. And we're we're, we're <laughs> safe. We're like thinking we're far enough away. We're probably Dude, we're at least a hundred yards. Yeah, yeah. I did the math on. I can't remember what it was exactly. But yeah, we're close to set. We're seventy. I, I don't think we were 100 yards. That's a football field, dude. That's a long ways. You guys will see it on the video. Uh, <laughs> we're probably 70 yards or whatever it was. And so I'm sitting there. I have my rifle up uh, on the bipods, and I'm sitting there in the seat. And Vinny is laying prone, and he's going to take the shot. So we have wives, children, and, dad's and truck. brother Kevin. <laughs> and we're in dad's truck because we drove the car, so we always drive dad's truck around. And uh, so, well, I don't want this, the O2, the 7.3. I don't want it out there. It might take some shrapnel, dude. <laughs> so, shout out, Wes. 7.3, bro. So, anyways, Vinny takes the shot, and it absolutely blows up this cabinet. Come to find out, the last cupboard cabinet is built in, like, 1960. Solid legit freaking uh pine or whatever it is dude it is solid and this thing grenades and a piece of board flies back 
and it is coming back like a hundred plus miles an hour I, or 97 miles an hour. I don't remember what it was. I was trying to do the math on it, like break it down. They have like the, anyways, and I, I see it coming, but it's like, it's and coming back in chair. so fast. You can't get out of the I way. just like turn and raise my leg up. So this thing doesn't hit my vitals because it, it hits the ground and it turns and it's coming right to, and it hits me in the leg. And it sounds just like a baseball bat hitting a ball. It just crack, and then it bounces off me, and goes back and hits another hits little piece Kevin that's coming in the and shoulder. hits Kevin in the shoulder. And it absolutely which is standing in front of an open door on Dad's truck with everybody standing behind him. It, it would have went through the window on the truck. Yeah. So that was our ten right thing, oh, and it was. I thought man. my leg was broke. I got up and I had to do the. The hop around, run around oh. thing, and I for sure thought it had blown my kneecap up. Oh, it was excruciating it was, pain. It was almost from knee to shin. It was knee, or knee it, to, That uh, thing hit dead center, ankle. straight down my Sliced leg. Sliced it right. So you'll see on the oh, on dude. the we'll do the we'll do the thing <laughs> blown up, and then we have a shot of my leg. I'm standing there, and uh, that's not blood dribbling down when you look at the picture. Yeah, that's a full slice. That's just where it hit. It just hit solid. <laughs> Bam and bounce. Oh yeah, it was. It's awesome. <laughs> so, dude, when we walked yeah. in the house, mom says, "What's wrong?" And we're like, "Nothing." What? And she's like, "Something's wrong." I can tell. What's wrong? Yeah. Like, that's she's already going tell. and getting Something's the med wrong. bag out. <laughs> <laughs> and so my mom, like mom, our mom has a full on med bag. We're three boys, you know. Don't forget the bag bomb. Like, she we, loves that bag ball. We bomb. went full. She's three. We she raised three boys by herself, so it was, it was, uh, it was full on med kit, dude. Triage, all kinds of stuff going on. Oh man, dude, how's that cut water? It's shout great. out cut water, margarita cut water, lime, lime margarita. That's, that's a right. banger right there, people. I'm just glad our liquor store finally. Carried I just these hope things. that somebody hits us with a sponsor, cut water. And we could uh, get some stuff flowing on there. I need some hats. If you guys are about hats, like I would like to have different hats each time too. So let's get us some hats rolling in here, um, dude. So we were talking about projects. You were doing your projects. I don't. Know, we'll we'll kind of go off the, the the van thing. We'll get off the van stories yeah. with mom and dad. We got more, but they'll come. Gonna, if I probably, I'll probably <laughs> remember more, but right now, oh dear. Uh, remember like Powell feed the fish, Braxton? Huh? <laughs> Do you remember going out to Lake Powell and feeding the fish? Uh, no, I don't think I remember that one. Is that the one oh, when Kevin dude. was sick? No, that was when we went box No, crate. that was... <laughs> that dude, was box we'll save that for another Tra- episode. When Kevin was <laughs> shatting himself. That's another poop story, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you might have to run that by him. <laughs> ah, it's all right. He'll be good. He'll figure it out. I don't even know. He don't even listen to us anyway. Uh, no, Braxton, oh. Jess, I... I uh, I mean, I might do a lot of editing. They sent me a, so Braxton hit me up about. Remember how we were talking about the the projects last week, and yes. the the uh, the times the time that the it takes. How right we were talking we were about talking how, about how women fast like our wives it, a they want they, they, they know the start of it and the finished project and they don't know anything in between. Right, she's, she's take us a half hour. Yeah. So uh, Jess, shout out Jess. She's one of our. She's one of our diehard loyal listeners. Loyal listeners. Loyal listener. For sure, dude. So I'm glad she gets to see what I look like since I go hunting with you and and Lee, right? No, it's Braxton. Jess, not Tori. Oh, Braxton and Jess. Sorry. Good job, Vinny. Not Tori. Way to go on that one. I got to edit this. You really bombed dude, it. You must be that cut water. <laughs> oh, cut dude, waters. that's a banger, people. I told you. <laughs> I told you. He, did, he ain't even finished one yet. And it's already. It's already. No. Braxton and Jess. Uh, All right, sorry, my yeah, bad. Engaged, they're getting married in uh, September. So, dude, I, that's why I'm drinking these cut waters. I was thinking of that today. I'm like prepping for my for your guys' uh your guys' little bachelor party, you know. Oh yeah, in Mesquite. I got I got to get I got to get go, ready. When you go to you gonna <laughs> crash the bachelor party, huh? I might, I might crash, I might uh, crash that bachelor party. So yeah, but they, so he he goes on, he was cracking me up. He was talking about that time frame thing because Jess is like that, yes. like, hey, did you get this done? You know this or what's taking so long? This that and the other. So then he, what's like, taking yeah. so long? Like That's she's the yeah. worst. Yeah, and so she, uh, 
he sends me this picture of a project that she is doing. And he's like, yeah, okay. she saw it on, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Pinterest. Probably so. Fuh. So she saw it on whatever it is, book face, Pinterest, whatever. So do, do it yourself type thing, whatever. So she's like, oh, I'm going to make this. It's like a wood block. It's a wood square thing with sides and you, and you cut the pieces of wood and it puts together like a puzzle. Right. Okay. And so it's supposed to fill the whole inside of this deal. And then you keep them sealed in. So it's like a decorative looking cool little origami type thing i guess would that be the uh, word i think i'm looking i think i think that's what i'm talking like origami kind of looking jenga kind of setup deal so it's just cool little thing and uh whatever so hours go by and he comes out there to see because he's got like a wood shop too like full on like everything you need to 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 cut stuff yeah it's legit and two and a half three hours whatever he said it was half a day he goes out there and she's just <laughs> cussing and this. He's like, "What's going on? I can't do it." And it ain't even a third of the way done. And he's like, <laughs> "So <laughs> this project, she thinks is gonna be. Hey, you want to help me do this? It's gonna take us an hour." She's out there half a day, and it ain't nothing done. And Braxton's just like, "So he sent me a picture of it." And he goes, "Yeah, you see it? That's dust. That ain't sawdust." That's sitting there dust. He's it's like sitting there dust. a year and a half <laughs> ago this project started. <laughs> Sorry, Jess. So uh yeah, so I'm gonna post that. It's just a picture, but I'm gonna drop it and you'll see it. So Perfect. he sent me a picture. So I hope he ran it by you, Jess. If not, go on YouTube because uh you get to see your project <laughs> on our flapping your gum. So Shout well, out, like Jess. My Good bathroom luck. project. Good luck, Jess, on my bathroom the project. project You're almost there. Another, my bathroom project just added another element to it I, this weekend. I guess if you keep it at 85% all the time, you can just keep adding to it. Is that how that works? No. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can see you got Apparently a level I, back there, so that's good. At least you're leveling. Level's level. Yeah, I was using some levels today. Yeah. yeah. Well, Making don't sure do it now because you're – you're far past that. I'm not level. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to be cutting twice and measuring once, and you're going to have stuff all over the place. You mean yeah, it was a lot of done for the day. Yeah. It's time at last. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I told Braxton I was going to hit that one shot. Yeah, get it. Oh, gosh. People, he's pounding down his. Oh, hear it? Oh, yeah. There it is. It's real. Cut water down. You got another one? Cut water oh, down. Let's get another one. Get nope, sloppy. I'm out. I'm out. Hey, cut water. I, I think it would be a good idea if you did a four, uh, six pack. Definitely cut water. Because I think you could only pack. buy them. I've only seen them being bought in. It's only in a four, four pack. Packs. Yeah, maybe because it's probably they need to limit you. Twelve point five percent. Bangers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we talked about movies and stuff. No, I don't want to go on that. Oh, accent. We were talking about accents. So no. Okay, so guys, <laughs> this is probably. And it'll get even better now that uh, <laughs> now that Vinny. If if I wish I had somebody, we could do like a. Uh, oh, I can't wait when we bring on guests because that'll start happening here soon. It's gonna. I'm be gonna horrible. bring on I a guest. I I have some buddies that have accents, so it'll be perfect. They're like, and I'm gonna get some good ones too. Because first of all, and I know, and and do not take you this talk wrong. to me on the phone while do I do not work. take this wrong at all at a Spanish speaking. I don't know, Mexicans, I don't know what you want to be called, <laughs> whatever it is, and I'm not saying it derogatory or mean, but like, so Vinny has to deliver, used to, I don't know about your new route. Uh, no, not so much on the new route, no. If you have a lot, but anyways, no, he did on his other route, he had he had quite a <coughs> few uh, Mexican, Hispanic Hispanics. speaking there you go. individuals. Uh, <laughs> and so, they... Uh, <laughs> I, I would be on the phone, and so he'd be like, oh, hold on, you know, and I'm like, okay, cool, and he's going in, he's just in my headphones, so I just keep working, and then he goes and he's talking to him. Well, they, they have accents, and so uh, soon I believe that Vinny thinks he's Mexican, <laughs> and he is speaking <laughs> like that to them, like, but he's speaking in <laughs> English, and so he thinks that. I, I feel like if he thinks he, he he can speak in English, but puts, uh, it's my, he puts like if I put a Spanglish a on Spang- it. Is that what it I is? think yes. they can? Un- <laughs> well, when they speak to me, when they speak to me in the oh hello, 
I have a package. I'm looking for a package, and I'm like, oh, okay, no, let me find your package. Yeah, I mean, so that, sounds I wanna like, know. that sounds like you're in India or something, dude. I think we're, we're, <laughs> we're getting off base here. Cut waters. Well, when they sp- so when anyway, they, so he thinks because he starts to add, I almost like. They speak hey, to me signore, in an, an accent. Hey, hey, he starts putting A on. They're like, oh, yeah, hey, I got a package, hey. eh? <laughs> or something. And I'm just like, dude. Anyways, the, uh, we, it's hard to do it right now. I, and we might have to do like a like an audio recording. If I was recording. talking to somebody, We're gonna like, I'm, I'm going to record. Sure. I'm going to be like, Vinny, you're going to oh, go talk to this man. dude, and I'm going to record on my phone. Oh so anyway, so this is it's the gr- – so I'm like, dude, he gets done. I'm like, why are you talking like that, dude? <laughs> you're not even <laughs> – you know, so it's just like he just like morphs into this. It just more. So if any of you guys have that, like I want to hear about it, man, because it's great. Because he he legit like gets into it, and and they they love it. They talk to him. They are always out offering him, you know, cervezas and stuff too. And uh, he doesn't take them, of course. You can't do that, VPS. <coughs> wink. If you're watching <laughs> YouTube right now, well, I mean, wink, I think he's wink, got, yeah. wink. Stored in your lunchbox. Oh, just right. I've had a lot of a lot of individuals give me like they they're making food at the time I deliver, so I have I have received a lot of great Mexican food. Oh, so that's why you're the able to talk is, that way, just because, dude, I well, eat tacos no, all the listen, time and I can't listen, talk that way. Listen, Linda, <laughs> listen. When they talk to me in with their heavy accent, I feel like the only way, and and I know it's wrong, and I can't help it's it. Terrible. My jaw hurts if I try to stop. But when they they talk to me that way. I feel like if I talk to them back that way, that they will understand me better. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times you get COD, so you, you're trying to ask for money for packages that have been sent to an individual, uh, which is you know cash on delivery, which we don't do cash anymore. But <clears throat> they they have to pay for it. So when you're trying to tell them how much stuff is and and what you need from them. I feel like when they're talking to me in an accent, if I talk back to them in an accent, that obviously they understand that better, which I know is 100% incorrect. Oh, yeah, especially that one time when you said (laughs) pesos, and it was just quiet. Uh, Crickets. Dude. Oh. No, he didn't really say pesos. And and I do. (laughs) I know. He didn't say pesos. Some Spanish. No, you do like, not when see. When it's like four hundred twenty-five Okay, <laughs> but when it's four hundred and twenty-five dollars, I'm like uno dos tres cuatro dos cinco. You know, yeah. and it's it's it. And it's that's how he's doing it too. So. He's putting on the accent <laughs> too. He just can't tell him the number. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need a uno dos tres cuatro and a cinco and. A and dinero, I need mucho dinero, and they're just like, yeah, I speak English. Yeah, oh, 100, 125 like, bucks, oh, yeah, shit. sweet, cool, <laughs> dude. I was born at the Salina Hospital, man. Like, jeez, what is wrong with you, dude? I've lived in the oh. U.S. my whole life, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times it's so hard because I just, I know there's people that. Uh, I it's been mo- a month since I've been on that route where there was uh, quite a few Mexicans on my route, but the one guys were talking to me and talking to me about like Richfield and stuff, and my jaw literally hurt so that I didn't talk back to them in an accent and sound like an a hole. It was I don't I'm I'm sure it ha- dude it has to happen like all it has to happen I mean like my 11 year old daughter does it. I'm not saying that no, has anything dude. to reflect on you as a four-year-old no, man, but oh. my daughter, like when we were in Scotland, dude, I think if if we stayed there any longer, she was gonna have a Scottish accent <laughs> for sure. I'd be like, dude, <laughs> because they just, but they're like, but that's a cool accent, dude, it is like cool. that's that's but they're like, cool. but which helps, I think, which definitely helped her to be able to understand them, because some of them have it's thick, like depending on where you're at. To even for yeah. like me to kind of understand it, but uh, th- you know, kids like that, their brains are just sponges, man. Your wife loved the accent. Oh, dude! She, so she my wife it. is the worst. She's terrible. <laughs> it is absolute <laughs> terrible, dude. It's like I don't. It's like having, and I don't have anything against deaf people, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as like having to do <laughs> deal with a deaf person, dude. Because I have to like <coughs> then turn and relay whatever they said, and I'm talking any accent. It don't matter if it was Scottish, if it was Spanish, if it was England, you know, English, I guess would be, uh, 
you know, any of that stuff. Like we'll be British. sitting there. British. It'd be a British there accent. Yeah. There you go. Um, we're sitting there, and they'll be talking, and I can clearly look over at her as they're talking to her. And just know that she's just standing there trying to read their lips. And it's like, that ain't going to work because <laughs> their lips are moving different because they have a different, like, s- like slang, I guess, slang type thing you could say or whatever. Like, the accent is different. So, the accent, their mouth moves differently. And so, uh, she don't, like, repeat Me. it. She don't come back Vinny style and be all trying to talk with an accent. <laughs> she just don't understand it. So, then she just they'll say something and she's just standing there. It's crickets, dude. And I'm just like, so they want you to do this, this, or this, or they need this. And she'll be like, oh, okay. Or the person will say something, and then we'll go to go away from it. And I'll be like, oh, they this, that. I go, you didn't understand a word they said, huh? She goes, no. She goes, and then she tries to blame it on her hearing like she's going deaf or something. <laughs> she's like, I just, I don't know, maybe they were talking. And he was like, the way I, I couldn't hear it that well. I'm like, you're not deaf. Like, you hear everything fine. It's almost like. When you explain it to me, I think it's like, okay, I'm out. Like, just shut down. Just be like, like, she knows you got it. Yeah. She knows you understand it. So she's like, okay, I'll just, I won't try to ask them, like, what? What? I think, it, yeah, what? I don't know. Yeah, that too. But so she's like, Sean, I feel bad for her because she's sitting there by herself. Somebody's talking to her in an accent. And then I'm like, oh, what a waste of their time. <laughs> <laughs> That's two minutes of their yeah, life. Like, you're never back. getting that back. Sorry. She's going to walk away and nothing happened. You know. Woo. Oh, oh yeah. my So gosh. that was, that's the, the accent thing is absolute greatness, dude. But like, even on, uh, so we were talking about UPS. Well, let's just roll into that one. Uh, th- so the, s- uh, I don't know, maybe we just skip that one. What, what was but it? The, you know, Sorry, I looked at my notes at the poop, same time. Pooping in the back of the UPS truck. That came Oh, out. come on, she dude. Was, we were going to poop two it. weeks well, in a row. I mean, as long as Reese, shout out Reese. He's one of our good listeners <laughs> too. As long as he's not, uh. Don't listen to this one on your lunch break, or if you get to this Don't point. Don't listen to it on your lunch break. If you I get heard to about this lunch point, break. Reese, and you hear... There's something about a UPS Poop. in a bucket. Poop. Uh, Poop. Yeah. Then it's a trash can. I don't know what it is, and it shouldn't be happening. <sighs> the only poop it should be is in the box I send you in UPS Dude, to go get my I prostate mean, we don't tested. <laughs> <laughs> so our routes at our center the rule. are they're pretty much extended is what they call it. Like we are, we are far away, and not every little town, I don't know, how it works over there in Nevada, but not every town has a gas station. Not every town has a place to use the bathroom. But sometimes you're miles away from a a, a restroom, you know. <clears throat> so we have those what are called delivery bags that we put it, you know, package in the bag. If it's snowing or raining, that we can put on, you know, your your front porch so it doesn't get ruined, which is a great thing for you. But When we have those bags, we have what's called, they call them snow chain containers. They're underneath your seat, but we use them as trash cans. I mean, every UPS supervisor is like, those are only supposed to be for, you know, trash, sorry. Chains. Uh, Chains. That's because they know that uh, you're about to crap in it, and they have to say that. Well, we use them for trash cans, but there are times... When you're out in the middle of nowhere, that you got to throw in one of those delivery bags, go in the back of your truck, and it does facilitate as a restroom sometimes, you know. So when you get it, so for you guys, this for <laughs> listeners that get UPS packages, <laughs> and you just grab them and throw them up it's on your counter. It's a clean bag. It's a clean yeah, bag. You throw it up on your counter. Somebody could have just took a big old shat right next to that box, and you're just putting it up on your oh, counter. Just man. think about that. Just throw. I back. mean. Hey, you got to throw a bag. You got to you got to throw a bag in the trash. It's just like just like the dog can. ones, you know, they just tie it up and then That's exactly what, what do you do are. with the bag? Just put her back in there until you get back to the you'd have to cuz you yeah, don't want to litter. You, you can't litter. When, when you get back to the gas station to fuel your truck, oh, you know, possibly Lord. I mean, it's got to go Scotty, somewhere. You got to You can't just throw it on the side of the road. That's solid, littering. Cuz you don't want a soup sand you don't want a soup sand it. Oh. Let me tell you, this cut water is hitting. Oh yeah, right I can tell your now. eyes got your eyebrows haven't come down <laughs> since the, since you hammered that last bit of it. <laughs> They've been up the whole time. Oh yeah, 
Paiute. Oh, yeah. Paiute, really? Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So, oh. uh, well, speaking of that, then, hey. Uh, <laughs> not that, not the, not the Paiute, but uh, uh, the pooping. Hey, do you, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, Vinny's gone. We're gonna have to cut this one short, people. He's fading. Or maybe we'll just keep him on here. We'll keep it rolling, Let's go dude. For it, baby. It, yeah. Uh, hope your ribs are. Hey, John, can you hear me? Okay. Bad. Who's John? Who are you speaking of, John? Oh, your buddy John yeah. says he can oh, never what's hear up, me. John, shout out. That's on the road trip that they did. God. I forgot that I told you about the the mic thing. John was complaining that he couldn't hear me. Yeah, I'm I pretty think, sure everybody no. on my block can yeah, they hear, hear me you now. Uh, dude, you got you when you're because you don't have AC in those trucks, right? No. So I was gonna bring up this no. gold bond, this gold bond talk right here. This is serious, dude. I people. love gold This bond. is serious. So Braxton, serious. What up, Shh. Braxton? Listen, uh, I told listen. you I talk about this. So he has he doesn't use he's never used gold bond. Why? I, that's what I asked him, dude. And I was like, I'm gonna bring it up on the podcast because. Gold bonding for your butthole is a dude. It's, it's not the butthole. It's a, oh yeah, I do it all, bro. It's an experience. So dude, when I used to quad, when I used to race quads, like going out sand mountain and stuff, like that, you know, you sit there with that seat between her. It gets hot. So Braxton, and, and I know Braxton, we talked about that dude gets swamp ass. He's probably like you. It's like instant. It, it don't matter if is it's it winter swamp time. ass or is it swalls. Ooh. Not sure what a swallows <laughs> is, but I feel like that That's might be swamp worse. Swamp balls. Oh, swallows. God. <laughs> dude. I, oh, my, dude. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot to take <laughs> in right now because I don't know what that is. I mean, I Woo, do now. You That's know graphic. Now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. Uh, I, dude, I'm all root no berries, so I don't get it. They are all, they're up out of the way. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask him, and I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Uh, he's dying, people. We are going to have to AED this boy. Uh, I don't know. Oh, relax. This woo-saw. Rub your earlobe or something. Woo-saw this thing. Oh, they're in your headphones. There they are. Oh, he found them, everyone. So, uh, okay, whichever it is, swoles or swamp. Ass, swalls. What a swalls, it's perfect. Swalls or sw- so he don't do it, and so he's scared about it. And so for me, like when I used to ride and stuff like that, dude, I mean, I'd do it. And then I worked for a, a cable company. It would be hot. And the problem of it is kind of like drywalling. Uh, it, the problem with, like, cable stuff is it gets hot, right? You're outside, it's hot, it's sweaty. And then you go inside the house, and it's all air-conditioned. And so you dry up. If they've got it running. And then you go the outside. Time. And then it's like, so you get this this switch of temperature. And so you start to get it chafy. So I was telling him about I mean, they got monkey butt and stuff like that. But, dude, Gold Bond, shout out. Like, hit us up. We are, we are your, I'm an advocate, dude. Like, I'm all about it. And I am a Medicaid, medicated Gold nah. Bonder. I know you're not. No. Dude, I li- it's like a dude. cold cloud. Like I used to tell Tasha, Here's the I'd tell Tasha, babe, you're going to have to go out of the bathroom. And she'd be like, what? I'm like, I'm about to get gold bonded here. Like, I'm about to get <laughs> fresh with this. Uh, caution is be careful if you have, like, linoleum floors. Because you get gold bond linoleum Definitely. floor, and it is slick. You will, it you, will, you will case it in a hurry. But So, yeah, I used to yank them down there and just dust my nuts. Dude, and I'd put her down the back and just <laughs> flap my cheeks open and oh let that just gosh. trickle down there, and I'd feel that nice cold gold bond on my butthole. No. Oh, glorious, Cold dude. is one thing, but oh, if you six wait until it's too long. Six to noon. Watch out. S- <laughs> sitting in a package car okay. like I do. Yeah, because you don't have AC. <clears throat> there's a l- no AC. Right. I mean, by the time I get to the point where I'm using gold bond, the problem is – you make it's, corn batter. It's too late. It's it's too late. Oh. Like I've let it go for too many days. Where I'm like, all right, I need to use Wh- it now. And I've used the medicated. Whoa! Yeah, it's glorious. <laughs> it's Wait, on. Wait, you fire. let it go too many days? Oh, because the chafing starts. 
Right. So you can't yeah, you can't like medicate. That's starts. why you need Medicaid because the Medicaid is medicated to help with the. But chafing. I need to start before. Like if I'm going to use medicated, I need to use. Like, all right, it's going to be 80 degrees yeah. today. Oh my god. 80 eight, degrees. Eight, eight, I think everybody got that. 80 <laughs> degrees. That's the temperature outside. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be yeah. hot. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. Oh man, this is gonna be a re- dude. We're gonna you're gonna might be an alcoholic because we're gonna have to just keep you hammering cut waters on every cast, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, so you wait. If I wait too many days, up. and I use the medicated, it burns. Yeah, so you're not, so you don't want to like burn. You want to cool. Like it's like sitting on a cloud, like dropping my nuts on a cloud. Right. Yeah. So you need to start off. You know pre-medicated basically before it gets to that point so braxton <clears throat> so you need to and he was worried about he's like dude what's it gonna get all i'm like it doesn't dude it keeps it do you start free. with this you gotta hit it in the medicated. morning dude try it without. you can do normal that's fine yeah like, you gotta once you start to man up and, and you then really once he hits that medicated he'll be medicated. like oh my gosh why didn't i start with this yeah that's cool. And just exactly. a gold bond. And it don't, he's like, it's going to, uh, I might, it ain't going to make no corn batter or nothing down there. Like, it ain't going to start. No. The stuff's legit. So, yeah, Braxton, there and you go. And even if it does, what does it matter? You're going to go home at night and shower. Yeah, he says there's a lot going on down there. <laughs> with the, <laughs> he's a little hairy Jeez, dude. But it don't matter. It gets in the hair, too, and makes it nice. Keeps it smooth. Braxton, uh, hit that gold bond. Let us know. Gold bond. Gold bond. Gold dude. bond it up. Let's go with Gold Bond and yeah. freaking Cutwaters, and those I don't, are our sponsors I don't right know. now. I, oh, yeah, with sponsors. I was like, oh, you don't want to mix the two, dude. You'd be slipping on the floor, no. falling in your Gold Bond, <laughs> spilling your cut water. <laughs> like, it's going to be bad. All right, well, oh, and then I got goodness. one more. We talked about the uh, – you remember the old bus trip, dude? We got time for that? Bus trip to where? When I we took the Greyhound, when Steve and I took the Greyhound bus to California. Oh, dude! And we were talking about road. That's trip. what got us started about your chew. The road trip. Your your chew so, experience. Skull. I don't. I couldn't. Skull. I had to give up on Skull long like back. But I quit chewing years ago. But like, uh, when I first Not started, me. when I first, <laughs> <laughs> when I first started, uh, I was a. So Skull was like the way to go because I I think they had like fifteen different flavors, dude. Remember they had like peach, cherry, uh, peppermint, Mint, wintergreen, spearmint. Spearmint was so Pepper. good, dude. It would burn like it burned, but that like, it kept it was fresh. Like you kept your mouth, it felt fresh. Anyways, it probably still stank, but um, they had classic, straight. Berry, classic remember the straight, berry baby. blend? Booyah! <laughs> classic straight. Remember the berry, berry? blend? There was Dude, berry. that one yeah. was rough Ooh. go. You couldn't chew that. Apple, the they had apple. Oh, uh, God. oh yeah. So anyway, so we're going. We we decided to plan this trip to go see Dad. He lives in. River. You were going to California. We're going to California. On spring break. Is that what? It, yeah, that's what it was. And uh, yeah. he couldn't come get us or nothing. My parents weren't about to drive. My mom wasn't about to drive and us. I wasn't going to let him borrow my and car. We, we couldn't rent a car. We had it all lined up. And they're like, oh, you're not 25. I didn't know you had to be 25 yeah, to rent a car. 25. So mom and dad drove us down to Cedar City, Utah to catch a Greyhound bus. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, dude. So this is it. Dude, that's an experience in itself. 100% the whole time. It was snowing Dude. like crazy, first of all, when on our way to Cedar City. I mean, it was kudos for uh, mom and dad driving us to Cedar City in the storm, like over Clear Creek Canyon and all that stuff. So we get to Cedar City. and Clear Creek, look up Co. 4. There you go. You'll see yeah. it. So, dude, we legit get there hours early because they wanted to get us there early. It's snowing a blizzard outside. And the dude at the gas station was at least like, hey, you guys can come inside. So we were sitting on the floor in the oil. You know, like in the gas station, you got that oil section where you can get like antifreezes and oils and uh, right. smelly, car or smelly Triple things. the price. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. sitting on that in that aisle. We got our, like we each had a blanket, rolled it out. We're sitting there on our backpacks, hanging out, waiting for this bus to roll up. Here comes this 
Greyhound bus, and it's all snowed up. You know, it's been riding through the sleet and slush and all that stuff. And we get in coming there. over from Colorado, Dude, and the people rolling off of this thing are, I, I mean, you can't call it call it a book by its cover because we're getting on the Greyhound bus too. But some of them were not the most pleasant of looking of folks to roll on this thing. And who knows where they've been coming from? This thing's like traveling down. I think it was coming from north or somewhere down through and then it was coming into vegas and then you they had it's like an airport it's like an airplane so like there's yeah. a hub there's a main hub the greyhound only it's 35 bucks instead of the greyhound bus hub in vegas <laughs> dude and it ain't it, it's in the ghetto of vegas like i don't even know where we were at but we get on this thing in cedar city and it's packed i mean it is packed they have done every seat possible wait 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 Shh. Oh. oh my! Speaking of in a bucket, <laughs> dude, you might need a bucket, bro. Oh gosh, then right, he makes go ahead. Us wait for it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good night. You're gonna have to. You got baby wipes. Braxton calls them dude wipes, I think, or something. No, you call them one wipe. No, one wipe, Charlie's. one wipe Charlies, dude. One wipe. Oh, yeah, Charlie's. those are bangers. Those ones. Same right. thing, dude. They got a minty tingle to them. Just so <laughs> shout out, one wipe Charlie's with the minty tingle. Your little per, little oh, peppermint. I hope my wife doesn't listen to this episode. Peppermint booty. Why? Cause you shat yourself. Oh, oh. just embarrassing as hell. No, dude, it's a good time. Good rate. Good uh, podcasting. So, anyways. But I do the same thing to you in the UPS truck. We're coming. Yes, yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> I gotta hear it all the time. Sometimes I taste it. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> mouth is open mouth is open and everything so all right we're rolling Vegas, we get into the no out. we're first we're cedar city and we're getting in this thing and the and the driver's like everybody gets off to go to the bathroom and you know get their snacks or whatever and so they're like yeah come on he's like you just got to find two seats where there's not stuff and we're like oh no shit. okay because everybody leaves like their stuff sitting in there kind of marking oh, their seats the bathroom right, right and right. they're headed in there and all this stuff so we I find this seat. There's a little Mexican guy sitting next to me in a white cowboy hat. So I sit down on the end, and he just scoots over, and he's like, oh, yeah. He he really doesn't speak English, I don't think. Hola. And yeah. And so, uh, and then Steve, the, on the back of those buses, there's like a, there's a little bathroom that's back there, and there's a three-seater on the back, like the back row. So that's yeah. the only seat. Like two seats in front of him is this, this uh, Mexican lady, and she's got kids. And the one they're like sleeping on one of the bench seats, you know, like cuddled up right. in blankets, and all that stuff. So he sits down there, and we're sitting there waiting. And and I got my backpack down there, and it's full of our skull. I mean, we're ready to go. I think we bought every <laughs> flavor that they have. Every just flavor. Just packed them in this backpack. And uh, well, because we weren't able to buy it, we were underage, so we had a certain place that we would go because they thought we were of age. And so that's why we stocked up because I didn't know, like, going to California, we'd be able to get any more. Right? So it was like, get what we can get. So, anyways, we load up, dude. And this, I don't know, I guess the, this black dude. Af yeah, I mean, that's don't. what they do. I mean, that's it. I'm no, not, that's, that's not fine. Wrong. So this black guy and this chick get on the bus and he's rolling to the back. And Steve's sitting there, and that's my buddy. And I'm sitting. The next row up on the right hand side, like the bathroom is on basically on my back side on the right. And Steve is sitting there and his right shoulder's up against the bathroom side of it. Like he's on that side. So we're kinda angled like together right there and the and the aisle comes up. This dude comes walking back and the he's he stands there and he looks at Steve and Steve's like, Hey and he's like, What are you doing? He's like, Just just sitting here. Like, you know, I mean it's like a it's like a awkward thing as it is. And he's like, oh, no, this seat's for me and my bitch. And I'm like, and he's all, like, mean about it. I was like, oh, right. my gosh, here we go. So I start sliding my backpack over because I'm going to start hammer fist, just start ear holing this dude, <laughs> like, rapid fire. Like, instantly my heart starts beating. I'm like, we're, we ain't even been on this bus 10 minutes, and we're about to have to right. fight, you know. And it's like – what I mean, it's, you guys are both six five. Yeah, it's just not, barely graduated high yeah, school. Yeah, I mean we're pumped full of weights. testosterone. We're like it's about <laughs> to get happening, dude. I'm like, all right, all I'm gonna do is just start hitting this dude in the side of the head, and I'm not stopping until 
he's not moving and somebody else stops me because I ain't gonna let him get a hold of me. He's yeah. a big old boy, like yeah, you know. So anyway, anyway, luckily I start sliding my backpack over, and this little Mexican guy next to me, he's like, "Oh, what the?" And he hears like this dude yelling at Steve, and so I'm sliding my backpack over, and I'm like closing up my fist, like, "Here we go! I'm getting ready. I'm gonna pounce." And uh, suffice to say, we didn't fight. And so the the lady gets her kid, and she's like, oh, just pick her up and move her. And Steve's like, what? Okay. So he picks this little girl. She, so Steve did have to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He mm. got up because the lady says, you can sit right here. She didn't want us to beat this guy up. Yeah, she didn't want nothing going yeah, down. Yeah, so she's like, you can sit right here and just pick her up and move her over to here. So he picks her up, and, dude, this little girl wakes up, and she's freaking out. Here's this big old white blonde surfer-looking dude just picking dude, her up. Dude, surfer-looking. Yeah, totally. So Steve we end up totally going sir. to Vegas, and it's like an airport. Like I say, it's a layover, and we're the only two white people yeah. in this whole place. And it's like there's bums. there's It smells weird. There's this lady with the two kids, not the same one. This other lady. And she's like, oh, can I sit with you guys? And she's very nicely dressed, and she looks really, she's she's good looking and stuff. And she's got her two kids, and she's like, can I sit over here by you guys? And we're like, yeah, sure. So we got blankets out and, like, got our own little little fort thing going on over there and just chilling out, dude. And, I mean, it's bad enough in there. That, like, the cops come in, and they're like, they have to they kick people out. They're like, all right, if they don't get have your a tickets ticket. out. And it's not, like, mm-hmm. security. It's like Metro, Vegas Metro Police. Right. Get your right. Key, key tickets up, tickets up. And then they come and boot all the bums and stuff out, dude, because they're all in there sleeping on the benches. And, oh, dude, it was right. crazy. But, yeah, that was uh, send your kids on a Greyhound bus to California. I think it was your choice. Well, I mean, we wanted to go for sure. Right. We wanted to go hang out, but. Dude, I wouldn't do it again. Never have. And that was the spring break. I remember going down on spring break. I had a car, but I went out on spring break. That thing was no air conditioning in that car. Which did you go no in the green play. machine? I did go in the green oh machine. Nineteen seventy nine Ford Fairmont. F- dude. <laughs> it was a government car. Ford Fairmont. As you can see it where the stickers they peeled the stickers off and they sell the government so, stuff on the side. So government we we're talking about Utah. Like BLM was a green, you know, BLM uses a green color. Lime, it's like lime green. <laughs> Oof. This thing was faded down to. So it was called the grenade. It was called, I don't even know. Green machine, called. dude. It had brown Green machine. Leather. Oh, dude. Light it brown, brown leather. tan two, pleather. Two bench seats. Yeah, and it was AM just radio. rougher than. It was hard. It was but like it made a hard it to California. Seat. It made it to California. So that was the only trip I ever did on spring break uh, was in that car with a buddy from work when I worked at Kmart, if anybody remembers Kmart. Oh, Kmart. <laughs> did all the Kmarts close? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. But, oh, yeah, man. that was, I mean. Good times. Spring dude. breaks are spring breaks, man. You got you to gotta experience You got to get to where you, you can get. If it's a Greyhound them. bus or whatever, and you got to get and you got to go party. Yeah, Ew. yeah, that was fantastic. That was spring breaks when you're young is is where it's at. Because when you get old, you don't have spring breaks anymore. Well, you got it. You don't get it, and you don't want to go to it. Like I don't want to go around all them people. Sorry. Well, yeah. Like anytime you plan a va- family vacation, you're like, oh, it's spring break. We get our kids for a whole week. Let's take the week off. But it's like, where do you want to go? Like you don't like you said, you don't want to go anywhere because everybody else is going there. Yeah, I don't like being around. All, I don't like being around people. That many people. Yeah, anyway. it's rough. It's rough when you you take vacations and, but when you're young, you just have fun with everybody else. Oh yeah. Well, we didn't get to do like the. We weren't oh. like the. We didn't get to do the big party party stuff. You know, like that kind of stuff. Havasu or different things like that. I'm mean, gonna do some of that stuff as I got older. I so. didn't even know Havasu existed when I was on spring break. Yeah, I went to Havasu. That was pretty good, though. All right, well, uh, that's that's <laughs> another story. <laughs> <laughs> and that was as I Whoa. I did, uh, but that was after my first marriage, and I was single. 
Right, because so. you, you're older, you know what's kind of going yeah, on. Yeah, so we went, and we got to roll on like a pimp boat, and buddies. Yeah, either way, we're all good. So, all right, all right dude, I think, I think this we're. This was a great episode. We think we're rolling up, guys. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully everything. I mean, hopefully you guys. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we we enjoy doing it. We're trying to. I mean, we always got stuff that comes up, so we'll we'll just keep banging Damn. them out, and uh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get this one out. We'll get another one. We're gonna try to do a couple out. We're just kind of we're gonna, we're getting a little better and stuff, so we want to do a little more even. Uh, more consistent, I should say, consistent in times and kind of kind of keep everybody everybody on track and stuff. So we'll get this one out and drop it and. We'll get going on another one, but I, I, I'm good, man. I think if you're good, I'm good. I'm so, great. So, yeah, email us out if you guys got any questions or stuff you want to hit up or talk about. And then uh, we'll be uh, we'll be wrapping this one up and then getting ready for the next one. So share it. Tell everybody about it. Uh, Vinny's going to be getting us some stickers, so that way we can start getting some merch out. And do a oh, I definitely stuff. have stickers. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one thing that we do have. We had, we do have stickers. So uh, please email uh, flapping your gums at yahoo dot com and let's uh, let's get some of these stickers out. Um, I'm gonna send some to Hesse here this week, and yeah. if you're uh, good enough friends with him, Braxton, <laughs> and uh, you wanna you wanna help him out a little bit, you know, give him a little fluff fluff there, he might give you a sticker for that. Go. You Dutch know. rudder. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we do have stickers, so let us know. Yeah, we'll uh, we can get some stickers. I'm working on some shirts right now. If there's any other type of uh kind of merchandise you guys want to see, um like Hesse really takes care of this whole uh getting this podcast rolling. He's got all the programming, he does all the editing. Um he he spends his time on that. Right now I've got a few uh kind of test things going on with some shirts right now so if anybody out there would like some shirts uh i haven't looked into the hats yet but uh i think i've got an idea for a hat so maybe i'll get some hats i won't be able to get them for the next episode but maybe by the time we get a couple episodes in you know hesse will be wearing one of our hats there that i got a good idea for Damn. so if you guys hit us up flapping your gums at yahoo.com uh, you can also comment on YouTube. That'd be great. Uh, hit us both up on our Facebook. Uh, I don't, it's not really a channel, but if you want to hit us up on Facebook, you know, you got Sean Hesse, you got Aaron Hesse, anything like that. You guys want to look us up, it'd be great. So we appreciate it very much. We're having a great time. I mean, all the time we talk all throughout the week, there's a lot of stuff that we throw in our notes that's just – yeah, we laugh all week long. We're just like we're putting this out there this week because so. we're old and we forget. So we got to put it in the notes so we can let all you guys, <laughs> dude. So let, let all you guys get. Uh, you can enjoy it with us. So yeah. So we've got some good feedback. Uh, we've got. Um, uh, it's been great. I mean, there's some of the stuff like that we talk about, and then we'll get emails or I'll get comments on, and it's like people were like, "Oh man, I remember, dude, when you were talking about this, made me think about this." Or like right. that when we're talking about little people and dwarves, and then Braxton's like, "Dude, I Ooh. got a story," you know. And so Braxton shares his story, which I'm pretty sure it was the same group, but they probably just go around and do conferences because the way he talked about it and where they were, it, it was all a bunch of little people and dwarves and stuff, and they were they had guest speakers and all this stuff. So it, it's just crazy. It, I just love it. I love hearing the the stuff that people can relate to, and that's just kind of what we're doing. But uh, yeah, so that's. That's where we're at right now. We'll uh, we'll uh, get off here and get another one going for you and kind of be more consistent. But we appreciate you guys that are listening and the feedback. And so that's all we got. So you guys, we'll see you on the next one. All right. All right. Love, Love you, bro. Peace. See ya.